All right, guys, what's going on? Matt Schaefer back here with another mosaic build for you. Finally got a Tesla X for you guys where we did a little bit more than just basic. As far as the front, showing you door opens all by itself. Um, I have the grill off just to kind of show you how everything functions. Uh, we have a three-way Focal Utopia M system. So again, grill off to kind of show you how this sits behind the door. This is your eight inch Focal Utopia M woofer. So we're basically using these for our front door mid base. And then we have a three and a half and tweet, which I'll show you here in a second. But um, obviously behind this door panel here, we sound treated the whole door panel. We still did our black hole tile to kind of eliminate some of those back wave uh, reflections from the mid base woofer here. So again, you're looking at the mid-range speaker right there, and we made that grill in order to keep it factory looking in that location. It has a thin trim ring that is made out of acrylic, and then of course your press grill material, and it it goes inward in the center to match how the tweeter grill works with that Focal Utopia M tweeter. Um, so they look really good. They don't stick out. They image fantastic in this car very little work to get that perfect center image there in the center of the dashboard so again we always want to keep these away from glass the factory location is complete and utter crap i mean they do this on a lot of on a lot of different cars sometimes it works out in cars but again when you put start changing the drivers and you have to change the eq that's when you get into trouble because again the you can't really fix a reflection a reflection's a reflection that speaker is going to hit the glass and go all over the place so you can't really compensate um and really fix that eq perfectly so again we're putting these on axis right now they're basically aiming a little over where my head is about at my head um towards the center of the car here uh as as far away as the glass as possible and uh as far as the Moscone controller, this client wanted to do the full remote control as opposed to the mini that you guys have seen me do in the past where I kind of put it right in this location. Um, benefit between the two uh, versus the big one is you can always see what preset you're on. You can always see the sub level. You can always see the master volume level. You can fade, you have fader and balance control. That's basically your biggest difference is the other one just has a bank of lights that you have to rely on so it's always going to show you based on you know the the volume number one through four preset one through four subwoofer one through four but you can't see everything at the same time next would be the signal chain so preset number one and i'll go to it now so we're on preset four subwoofer level preset i can go preset one here and now that's gonna be our factory radio. So we can turn this up. Play something from, I guess, today's hit radio here. And then obviously the steering wheel controls still function like normal. So again, we have all the factory controls. We have all the different noises. You can hear the chime there. Um, Bluetooth still works, functions perfectly fine. Again, you don't lose any of the factory settings on preset one. It works exactly like the factory did. Um, preset two in this case is gonna be our digital input into the processor. And by digital input, we have two different ways. We have a digital coax here. So if you have your own type of player, you can plug this directly into the player to get that digital coax directly to the processor. And that's tuned to preset number two. And then we also have uh, our AMAS 96K. Here's a picture of what it looks like. It's right here behind this panel. And it's gonna give us a Bluetooth connection between a phone, a high res device um, to get a higher bandwidth uh, streaming directly to the processor. And this one is the 96K, so capable of doing up to 24-bit 96K through Bluetooth. Uh, preset 4 is going to be our analog input into, say, your DAC or high-res player. So again, I can go turn this on, go through preset 4. So we just hit this once at sublevel, hit it twice. Now we're on preset. Move it to preset number 4. And now we have our analog input 
directly from our high res player. Um, so again, just giving you really a flexibility of how all this stuff is going to operate. And as well, we have a center channel under here, right? So we have a switch. Right now, our center channel can be put on and now we can have our Bluetooth from the factory radio going through that center channel, okay? So you can hear it right there. So basically the thought behind this is we would hit pause. Now we can turn on the turn signals. We can turn on the nav, we can turn on the Bluetooth and it's still gonna come through the center channel while we're on our digital input or our analog input with a different source. So the cool thing about that is you can still utilize your great audio and you can still have all the all the settings, all the tones, all that stuff come through that factory center channel. Because again, that's the only speaker that was uninterrupted from the factory radio. So it still goes from the radio directly to the center channel, but we've just put a switch in line in order to break that connection. So obviously when we're listening to the factory radio, we turn that switch off to not have that center channel playing, right? Because we don't we don't need that cheap speaker playing. We have a perfect center image without that center channel in place. All right, so I'll show you kind of what we came up with in the back here. Uh, we have two areas here in the Model X. So this is going to be a storage area here, not being used at the moment. It's pretty deep. You have the, there's an area here where I think the factory sub is in the UHFS system. And back here, you could do a sub, but it would have to be a fiberglass enclosure. So it'd be a little bit more expensive to fabricate, but you could essentially get the sub right here. You could also have it here. In this case, we did it back here. What you see here is basically a, uh, it's a pass through for the sub because the sub does sit directly below this area here. The client and I discussed using this area to try and get all of our equipment in this little area right here. So with the floor out, you can, get, you can see the equipment that we installed here. So right here you have the Utopia 10 inch woofer. It is in a Baltic birch enclosure, which then we stained, epoxied, and then clear coated. So you can kind of see that glossy shine coming off there. Acrylic trim here. Again, this is only about seven, eight inches deep at the most to where it sits on the floor. And then you have about an inch and a half of space from here to where the floor is. Uh, that's why we created the pass-through just so you don't get that panel rattle that it would have if it did not have the pass-through. But there is plenty of air to also move underneath this floor here because there is space here to where, you know, air can easily move. Uh, underneath this acrylic panel, we have our Moscone 5 channel, which the front is going, the front two channels are going to run the rear speakers, then three and four that has the most power on the amplifier is going to run our Utopia 8 inch woofers up front. And then we have the sub out, which is then going to power our Utopia M subwoofer here. We have the Moscone Pro 410, which is basically a four channel amp that powers our tweeters and our mid bass for the Utopia M speakers. We have our processor down here. Uh, we have the Stinger 9000 RCA's carbon fiber, really, really nice. Uh, you can see as well down here in this dark little nook, we have our power distribution. So that's where our power comes in and that's where all our amps are fused. You can easily uh, service any of this equipment. You can see our two power wires running through here. Everything else runs underneath this panel. We also have a fan under here that circulates uh, air throughout this whole thing. So even if the amps are off or the fans are not on on the amplifier, it just moves the stale air uh, from this little area and moves it all around. We have a little grill material. The fan is underneath, underneath that protective grill, uh, which then goes through our pass-through here. So looking closer at the pass-through, uh, it's basically made from PVC and acrylic. We did this in black carpet, so you can still throw stuff on here. This is acrylic, so again, it's very durable. Uh, it's waterproof. You know, you can throw bags on here. It can really take a beating. Uh, and then we have the same grill pattern that we used with uh, grill cloth behind it so you cannot see through it. Um, 
So again, that is our trim that hides and protects all of our equipment down here. Okay, so again, air can still move. The sub has its pass through. And again, that thing is only about an inch deep at the most. So it, it does not, it's not that bulky. It does not come up that high and you can still throw luggage on it. You know, it can take a beating. Also, I'll show you this little area from the back. Push the button, the door opens. A lot of people are fascinated. A lot of people have still never seen that. Another cool feature on the X that a lot of people don't realize is you can hit the front there and then the door automatically pops open for you. So if I pop this down, gives you another look at this area here and that pass through. Also didn't mention, but we did a uh, Tesla logo here and basically that's its own piece of quarter inch acrylic that we kept shiny black. Everything else is uh, matte black acrylic. Like I said, as far as these rear speakers go, um, we just did Focal Auditor in here, something entry level. The rears aren't necessary when it comes to great audio. Um, we spend our money in the amplifiers, the product up front, all that kind of stuff before we think about spending a lot of money for the back. Also, you have to be very, very aware of how much sound treatment you're putting in these doors because they do motorize. Uh, they are on a limit. They will not open if you put enough up there. So just keep that in mind. So something else I wanted to show you guys real quick just because uh, it's kind of cool and it's a part of the system that I really never show on any of these builds. But underneath the cows of all your Teslas, if you look right there, you have your circuit breaker. So that's the power coming in and then going out to our amplifiers in the back. So um, if you ever want to service the system, if you ever want to kill power entirely, you hit that red button there, it pops the uh, circuit and then basically stops power going back to your equipment. Uh, so it's an easy way to service all of this stuff here. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. Again, follow our Instagram handles. Mine is at the real Matty S. Uh, mosaic underscore design and then sound effects home car would be all three of our handles you can also contact me here is my phone number followed by my email address these two are how you get in contact with me if you want to do a project if you have questions about uh, your car or again anything really also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel this is where we always post video of all these different projects also, make sure that you check out our website. It's www.musaicdesign.com. You can go here and really explore all of the different builds that we've done, all of the pictures that you've seen in this video that I overlay. Uh, those are all the build log pictures. I have way more than just what I'm showing here. So you can go to each project that we've ever done and see all the build log pictures of the behind the scenes, um, Again, you know, when we do stuff, it's not just pretty on the outside, it's pretty on the inside. Uh, so we're completely transparent in showing you everything that is done to your car and all the care that is taken when it comes into building these cars. It also links to our YouTube page. And again, really cool. You can search by make, manufacture, all that kind of stuff. So give that a click. And like always, guys, thank you so much for following us and supporting us. And until next time, I'll check you later.